This investigation involves an allegation of excessive force. The complainant has stated that she was on the landing of a fire escape, which she estimated was 10 to 15 feet above an adjacent parking lot, when an officer tossed a blast ball in her direction. The complainant reported sustaining injuries as a result of the explosion. The only known third-party video of the incident was a recording that was made by the complainant. The video ends before the explosion. The complainant has stated that she did not intend to stop the recording at that point. She believes she unknowingly ended it when she tensed her body in anticipation of the blast ball explosion. OPA reviewed the body-worn video of the named employee and other personnel. This clip shows the named employee being moved into a different position on the police line. In this video, OPA was able to see an individual in the distance making their way up the fire escape. The video was enhanced and slowed down to show this occurring. Based on the timing in the complainant's statement, this appears to be when the complainant assumed her position on the landing. The local time at that point was 5.28 p.m. There is no obvious sign of SPD personnel at or around the complainant as she makes her way up the fire escape, and no indication the named employee saw this taking place. This video clip captures the named employee from the point he pulls the pin on the blast ball in question to moments after it detonates. The named employee's written use of force statement details his decision to pull the pin along with his reason against throwing it in the direction of the protesters. He then detailed his need to perform what is known as a bang-out. A bang-out is a trained SPD method for disposing of a blast ball after it has been prepped and the pin is removed. The named employee stated that his intention was to detonate it away from people per his training. He informed his sergeant of his need to do so, the sergeant pointed in the direction of the open parking lot, and the named employee told OPA that he had no idea the complainant was on the landing above him when he released the blast ball as part of the bang out. Hey, I need to do a bang out. Hang out. The OPA director found that this case was not sustained inconclusive. 
He stated in his findings that had there been evidence to suggest that the named employee knowingly or intentionally targeted the complainant with a blast ball, his actions would have violated SPD policy. For more information, please visit OPA's website and follow the link for the closed case summaries.